what we want is to have that coolant flowing right about where we're grinding. Seems to be doing that quite effectively. Yes, it does. And you have a flow control here. These are also flow controls. So you can adjust them appropriately. Now I'll get this grinding head here. This device, we plug it in here, this way. We make sure that the head is tight on it. This is a spherical drive here again, and it's going to fit in the spherical socket drive on that thing. And the purpose of it, somebody has this backwards. <laughs> Left-handers. Engage this drive in here. And what you want to do is kind of feel the range of movement here so that you can get it about centered. Mm -hmm. What you're trying to accomplish is you don't want to put a side load on that mandrel and force it out of alignment. You want to let it be free to follow that pilot when you're grinding. So you about center this, then you get yourself positioned in such a way that you can get a good grip on this thing here like this, so that by just changing your grip you can either take the weight off or take the weight on. Now you can see I'm not lifting very much. Here I'm going to take the weight off. I just squeezed it. Now I let the weight on. You'll hear that when I grind this thing, you'll hear it pulse. Every time I take the weight off of it, the oil has a chance to wash out any of the grinding dust. So you just do a pulse. And we're just going to do three or four pulses. Then we're going to stop. When we stop, we take the weight off let it come to a stop before you lift it out. Okay, so you'll hear me grind this thing pulsing. I start with the weight off. End with the weight off and let it come to a stop. And then take up the drive motor out. Shut this off. Slip this guy up. And we'll just see what we've done. Okay? Now you can see that we've begun to grind this seat. Go ahead and look at it. It's started to clean it up. It's almost always, with very rare exceptions, going to be cutting more off of one part of the seat than the other because the pilot now is forcing that stone to grind this seat concentric again with the bore. It's shifted a little bit with thermal cycling over time. And with the odd wear of the guide, we're using a worn guide, by the way, in which you wouldn't be doing. You would be doing this with a new guide installed. But at any rate, it's forcing it back into alignment. So it's going to grind more off of one part of the seat than the other. But you've got to go until you get it to the, you get the narrowest part of your cleanup at least as wide as your finished dimension for your seat. Now, if you remember, you have a seat width requirement for exhaust valves, and you have another seat width requirement for intake valves. For your O290, the seat width for the intake valve is about one-eighth of an inch. The seat width for the exhaust valve is about one-sixteenth of an inch. So, what we're going to have to do is make ourselves a little tool here. This happens to be 1 16th, just fabricated from sheet metal so that we can reach down in there and we can eyeball and see when we seem to have be approximately 1 16th wide on the narrowest part of our grind. So, what I'm going to let you guys do, I don't want to do this for you, I'll let you do it. Each of you go in there and take a little pulse. Just take about three pulses, stop, pull it out and look at it until you, you believe that the face
face is clean and the narrowest part is the width of this 116. When you get to that point, let me know. Don't take more than you need to take off. If you're in doubt, check with me, because if we take too much off, this, once the seat has been ground too much, it gets too big and you can't do anything but replace the seat. Okay? You guys go ahead with that. Um, actually, I'm going to get the folks in here so I can show them what you're getting ready to do at this point. <laughs> Where's that rag go? It's there. How far did it score? Uh, all the way down there. We're going to hop it over to this whole machine and down there. I think that made it on the video. <laughs> well, we're not. Alright, you guys want to, the other teams are taking a break. Do you want to take your break now and then when you come back? Needs to be ground this side of this side of it. Yeah. Next, next person. You up next? You need to turn on the oil first. True. Cover it with the rag before you do. I'll probably just hit this first. Okay. Oh, yeah. 